What's up everybody, Kong Spideyzilla here, and welcome back to another video, and today I am officially getting back into the Let's Plays, starting off with a kicker, I guess you could say, Spider-Man 2, which technically this is not the kicker, I already did, you know, the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man, the movie game from 2002, but we're moving on straight into Spider-Man 2. We went from that to Spider-Man 2. We're going from that to this right now. So, as you can see, the demo is playing. I honestly forgot how a demo here. So, sorry, I'm gonna, this is going to be a little bit quiet because people are sleeping in my house right now. Well, my family's sleeping in my house. So, in the meantime, I'm going to cut to when I start a new game and... I'm going to try to fix up the camera angle a little bit, if you don't mind me. So, there you go. I'm going to be cutting away right now. Alright, here we are, guys. I got the camera angle a little better. Sorry if it's wonky, because once again, my setup is ridiculous. So, here is the... Beautiful opening to the game. Alright. And I felt, you know, I was in the same room with Spider-Man mood and I just had to, I just had to, um, get into the spirit, you know. So there it is, Spider-Man 2. Funny enough, you know, only three actual cast members from the movie they're starting with here. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear it, but... Man, I really should have been recording this later in the day. Whatever, I just really wanted to get to this. The girl next door. The girl I love. Like that does look like it's taken right from the movie. Your life on your hands. Fate handed me amazing powers. And I made a promise to use those powers to help people. With great power comes great responsibility. No matter how much I might wish things were different. There's only one to spider me drew that or is it because of the spider-verse and multiverse hmm so chapter one what might well, have been sequel time already huh welcome back i guess well bruce campbell's been a long time in this book this year book what i'm sorry what i'm about to say I, i'm so caught up on my words right now i'm recording in the dawn <sighs> that's been forever bruce campbell Okay. So, I was playing the Xbox. I was so used to playing the Xbox. So, this is on PS2, PlayStation 2. So, once I'm done with the tutorial here, I'll get back into explaining about this game and you know what I have, what else I have to babble on about about That's because you didn't charge your jump. Am I going too fast for you? Let's get this show on the road. See that little doohickey? That's your destination marker and it tells you how to get where you need Okay, so I'm sorry I'm so once again I'm terribly sorry if you guys can't hear it. You know you're heading towards your goal. Okay, that's how you speed up, okay. All right, stop there for a second and look at your map. See it there? The red thing in the center yep. is you. And the blue dot is Portrait Spider-Man. <laughs> it's so awesome how they got Bruce Campbell for these tutorials. Once again, I'm sorry if you guys cannot hear it. But, 
but in case in case you do yep in case you do though that's why I'm being quiet for these certain moments so get busy okay so the next thing I want you to do is jump off the building I mean just jump Hey, I wouldn't tell you to do something dangerous and life-threatening, would I? Come on. So at least this is starting off with the tutorial, because, man, it's been a while. And I like with uh, the animations that they actually kind of copied... They just kind of copy a little bit from the first Spider-Man game. But is it just me, or does, no offense, Spidey look a little more cartoonish here? I don't know what it is. What are you, chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that before. What are you, chicken? I like this. This is. Okay. Nice how they do that. I just like. I like falling down like this. It's so cool. Slow motion. Okay. One, two, three. Great, you made it. Whee. So let's say a little about swing. Every time you press the swing button, you'll shoot a new web line. Now, there's all kinds of fancy stuff you can do, but let's not say these things. So, they really improved from the first game, technical wise, and probably quality wise. I'll check up on you later. <laughs> I like the running theme with these games. They actually got Bruce Campbell. Like, like really, just like he has such a presence in this trilogy. Like he makes a couple of cameos in the first three movies. I don't know if he made a cameo. Yeah, he did in the first Spider-Man. Okay, so like Spider-Man two thousand two, he was like, I believe he was like. He's like one of those guys, like a host or something, I believe. I'm terribly sorry if I'm wrong. And in Spider-Man 2, he's... Okay, I'm back. For the next lesson, let's talk about... He's, hey, he's working with a, the, uh, a play, like a part of the theater that has a play. Well, that's convenient. You know, has physical plays, and... What are you going to do about it? Looks like playtime... And... Whoa, 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 you guys were stuck inside the car. Okay, you're not getting away. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I admit the combat's more funner in here. Bam. When you get up to the top, oh. called... Complete total mess up. Nice going. Now get back to the arcade on you. You know, you check out some of the games you play. Thanks, Spider-Man. Listen, if you ever want to play some games, come on by. It's on the house. By the way, they reuse models. And that is Mr. Aziz. I know you. Thank you for my health, even though I never took any damage. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, we're gonna buy the upgrade. And there you go. <laughs> hey! So, I watch a cutscene. Maybe my luck's finally changing. I gotta admit, the animation of Spidey sing swinging through the city like that is pretty cool. It's a little satisfying to watch. They, they, they took his movements from the Sam Raimi movies like really good. So, 
I know, but guys, I should be talking and commentary, but man, number one, this is a cutscene, and number two, this is the beginning, guys, okay? <laughs> so, I'll, I'll hold the thought. I'm not gonna lie, that sandwich still looks good, even if it's a video game. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, let's see. Let's just save really quick. Let's do what Bruce Campbell wants us to do. Alright, so... Wow, empty save file. Uh, yeah, save. Save the second slot. And my initials are just Spidey. Obviously, the Spider-Man part of Kong, my channel name, Kong Spideyzilla. Ooh. So a little history with this game. At first, oops, oh, pull, oh, poo. Okay, so a little history with this game. At first, you know, when I got this when I was younger, at first, I was like, you know, I think I liked the game somewhat, and then I started, I think I started to get burned out of it, and I am started finding my own little pet peeves I didn't like about the game, and then younger me just kind of started not becoming a fan of it, but I still kind of enjoyed the game. And now, like, I'm ready to get back into the swing of things, no pun intended, and looking at it, it is a dang good Spider-Man game now. You know, now that I'm older, definitely, definitely better than the first game. So, help me. <laughs> Yeah, must be really difficult to be Spider-Man. Very stressful. Dang. Honestly, for me, these people are more brutal than in the movies. Interference showed up. Oh, poop. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh. Okay, switch, switch from spider sense to slow motion to we slow down. I have to spam the heck out of it because there were so many of them. Okay, look at this. Bam! <laughs> Alright. Got that taken care of. Let's hurry on back. At first, for some reason, when I was younger, I thought he was going to get in trouble because he had the briefcase in his hand. <laughs> I don't know, younger me just thought some weird, strange things back then. Um, Alright, so... Yep, and... There's no point because we're late. I don't want to hear excuses. You have a keen scientific mind. So I'm sorry I had to keep on... You miss class half the time, and when you do show up, you're asleep in your seat. Yes, Dr. Connors. I understand. Have you started your paper on Dr. Octavius yet? He's a good friend of mine, so you better know what you're talking about. Uh, well, I've been thinking about it. 
Mm. Hello? But that pay feeling this class. I know, Dr. Thomas. I'll pull things together. I promise. I hope so. I'll see you in class. So sorry about the cuts there, people. Uh, you know, I got a little interrupted there by my mom. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, just okay, go to the pizza parlor. Pizza time. Sorry, I just, I'm terribly sorry. Just had to do it. We can check our hero points. The white dot on your map here and the white destination marker are both pointing you to the pizza point. Okay. Get over there yep. point, the pizza point. delivery mission. Sorry, I have to say it once again. It's pizza time. All right. Another reason why the same Ring of Spider-Man trilogy is so good is because of the memes. <laughs> oh my goodness! Already, already the the um. Already the missions are starting, the little side missions are starting to show up. Yep, and those are, those side missions, you know, are the green question marks you see on the screen. So, yeah. So, guess what? What really got me in the mood also is that I was curious and finally decided to re-experience the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. And I watched it along with my sister and... I want to tell you my favorite. I don't have a favorite, honestly. I I really like them all. I really like all the movies. And uh, talk a little about hero you already... oh, sorry, we're scanning a bit more. Yep. I have many pizzas that need delivering, and you are late, like always. You're the only delivery boy here right now, too. So you must. Oh my goodness! There's a side mission going on in the background. <laughs> yep, that's this game for you. A lot of craziness. Okay, I don't think you're supposed to rush. I think you're supposed to... Um... Okay, that was really weird. That was really weird, guys. There was like a glitch there. I couldn't. Hey, Parker. I have pizzas waiting to be delivered to customers because you weren't here. Hurry and deliver these and don't mess things up. I won't let you down, Mr. Aziz. Definitely not, Mr. Aziz. <laughs> especially. Especially, where's that. Where's that. Go! Okay. Okay, so I apparently found out that you have to kind of keep it. Apparently, you can't. You can't do acrobatics in the air. Can't go really fast. Okay, so there's that lovable theme in the background. What's with the sound of the menu sound effects in the background? Okay. I did that earn two thousand hero points. Oh okay, I get Oh poopers. Okay. <laughs> Another little thing. Alright, so Alright, come on. Sometimes the swinging's a little difficult to control, I'll admit that. They really did succeed on making you feel like Spider-Man, though. And if you're questioning me, yes, I did not... I did not play... I never got the chance to play the PS4 Spider-Man games. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not that into Spider-Man games that much. I'm more into, like, 
the other stuff like cartoons and movies. But, you know, I would want to check out that 90s Spider-Man cartoon. And for nostalgia, 60s, the 60s, the old <laughs> 60s cartoon. For nostalgia. Maybe one day in the near future. But I'm not that into other Spider-Man cartoons. Like, I even, I even... For the longest time, I was watching Ultimate Spider-Man, you know, from Disney XD. And that, you know, after, like, even a few years, I think I got, finally got burned out of it. So. Wow. Thanks, Harry. And. Hey, that's that's going to lead me to an opinion back. between shows and movies. Today. Okay, Harry. After this cutscene. All right, all right. Are you sleeping all right, Pete? Good beat. Just some late nights. Still palling around with that murdering bug? Harry, I know you think Spider-Man killed your dad. He did kill my dad. Someday I'll get him for it, too. I'll tell him that next time you see him. Yeah, uh, well... Hey, congratulations on those billboards, MJ. Oh, thanks. Um, it's so unexpected. Everything's happening at once. The billboards, the play, which you have to come see, by the way. I'll get you a ticket for your birthday. Can you swing by later and pick it up? Mm -hmm. well, MJ sounds different in the movie, and this is the same actress, too, voicing her. Hmm, strange. It's still her, though. special projects now. We've been providing funding and trivia for one of your heroes, Matthew Octavius. You want to meet him? Do I? Funny enough, I don't remember that detail in the movie where Dr. Connor said that he was friends with Do Otto Octavius. I never heard about that. Very strange. Calories are not in my costume anymore. <laughs> wow. That's so funny to hear from Peter Spireman saying that. So, uh... Back to it. Okay, so. Hmm, what was I going to say? So, yeah, my thing about movies and shows, like, I got burned out of Ultimate Spider-Man for one of the main reasons. One of the main problems I probably have with shows, no offense, is that some shows only last, like, a few seasons, which I'm alright with. But, no offense, some shows just keep going on and on on and on and dang on it just it keeps going on for so long that you just i just can't keep up with it i don't find myself which is why i just don't i know i'm talking over spider-man here but you know you guys played this game before you know spidey fans watching this so you obviously know oh there's a mission okay so oh my goodness here it is. It begins. I lost my balloon. Oh boy. Great. Thanks to you. Now I can't do that mission. Okay. I can still do this though. Okay. At least this one was easy. My goodness. Like these missions tend to vary from easy to just plain difficult. Like there's a point where for you um can i do it can i actually do this cool i can still do it Re oh what is that let's try it again shall we Re well that was pretty not that powerful but still oh there it is okay there's a mission all right so we gotta do the missions these are bigger missions these missions also tend to be from difficult to easy. Honestly, that's that seems to go for all the missions in this game. The side missions, just from easy to just difficult. Hello. Okay. Wee. The swinging can be fun in this game. Oh, 
Don't worry about it. Alright, so that's why it lasts so long. The shows just last, like, sometimes they just go on forever. And it just makes me lose interest. And I get bored. So, no offense to shows, but, like, that's why I always preferred movies more. It's, movies are also always more easier to get off my chest than shows. That's why I always, but I do really like plenty of shows out there. And. Need a hand? Oh, yeah. I think the police are chasing someone. A car just came through here going way too fast. So, it's funny how they use the same models, but they all have different voices. Okay, we. Nice music. I have the music in the first two Sam Raimi's for my games are like absolutely great. Oh, really? Ow! Piece of poop! Get wrecked. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do the missions. These missions are crazy. Okay. These missions are all over the place. Oh my goodness, that was so sick. <laughs> so, so dead. <laughs> Alright, so, unfortunately, I don't think you get those after completing, like, a full-on real mission that has to do with the story of the game, so. These are gonna get fun to frustrating. I just did that. Oh my goodness, you have a twin right next to you. <laughs> so, that's why I, oh my goodness, spotted booty. <laughs> I just had to. Okay, so, now, Oh my goodness. Hurry! Oh my goodness. Hurry, hurry. Okay. Close. I'll constantly keep checking. Okay, one more mission and that should be it. Just one more mission. And you guys can probably hear it, but... That's a rooster outside crowing. Yep, we have chickens. And there is also our crying pet cats that want to badly get let out of the room. So yeah, if you keep hearing animal noises, those are the causes. Okay, so... Uh, man, I just, I just want to badly let the cats out. Okay, so... There we go, but you know... Also, because of... I don't know. Sometimes our parents just tell us not to. Um, yeah, so that's why I always prefer movies more than shows, but I like shows. I still like shows. If you want, you know, movies are definitely more for me, you know. Something easy to get off my chest. And just something, you know, that doesn't go on for way too long. Oh my goodness, there's guns. Okay, there's a mission all the way up here. Whoa, the Spider Man. Web Swinger just showed up. Alright, so. But if you want a never, ender, a never ending story, a show is for you. Alright. That's good. It's something to keep me active. But if you want a never ending story, you know, you want to stay attached, really super attached to your characters, then the show is definitely for you. Oh, no. 
birthday dinner, I promised MJ I would meet her this evening. I gotta hurry. Dang, just so much... <laughs> There's so much at the beginning of this game like that, like, Oh no, I'm late. There is the Daily Bugle. So like, I'm sorry, you know, I went off topic, but... Yeah, I really can't decide which Spider-Man movie is my favorite. I honestly really like them all. Unpopular opinion, yes, I like the third movie. But it seems to be getting more appreciation these days. Which makes me happy because I like Spider-Man 3, even though technically, you know, it's not. It's probably not a good movie, but I still like it. It has some qualities that actually can make it a good movie. So, you know, but, you know, agree to disagree. Oh. Other night. That really went by Andrew, fast. I think you should know. I'm seeing someone now. A guy. Oh. I really, I really like them all. All three of the Sam Raimi Spider Man movies. That's probably the mm -hmm. one time where I actually like all three <laughs> movies in the trilogy very equal. That honestly makes it, but that honestly makes the trilogy even more awesome to me, because you know I really super duper like them all equally. All of them are just, in my opinion, just well made movies. Even if Sony decided to be a jerk on the third movie. Which is weird. <laughs> Alright, let's kick some EF. Alright. Well, oh, that guy has a gun. Dang! I just went in guns and blazing. <laughs> He's not a calm. Oh my goodness. Take out this guy. Take out this guy. Come on. Take cover. The guns are annoying in this game. Alright. This is this game has some nice looking areas, not gonna lie. Juggle. Oh my goodness. Oh <laughs> we completely went off board. Wow, that's it. I don't really have trouble taking these guys out, but I just went full on brute force. And this is where we should meet Black Cat. Did, did Black Cat have hair like that in the comics at one point? Because her hair here, she has short hair here. But however... However, though, in the comics and cartoons and stuff, she's mostly portrayed having long hair. So, okay, that was a weird... Sometimes cut, these cutscenes just have some weird transmission. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta love the limitations of older games. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, out of control. Wow. Already? I thought she was getting far away from me. Okay, now she is. Now she is. There might be some parts where I really have to focus because this can become a pretty Stop. difficult game. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Urgh. Come on. Whee. Oh my goodness, the camera. <clears throat> oh, come on. <clears throat> Back off, there's a crowd in here. Alright. So, sorry if I'm... I apologize if there are parts where I have to be... 
pretty quiet. All right, so All right, so I could have been serious most of the time she's represented having long hair, but in the PS for Spider-Man game, she's represented to have a ponytail. So they tend to change her hairstyle up a bit every now and then. So I find it very interesting that they decided to have other Sam Raimi well, not other Sam Raimi Spider-Man villains, what am I talking about? Okay, other Spidey villains, other Spider-Man villains in the comics in these games. Oh, finally that's over. Oof. The chases do little, do get a little difficult every now and then. Standard is the word. I was expecting maybe. Hey! Yep, got our way with the ladies, Spidey. Make this move. So, apparently, all right. So, I'm planning to make these let's plays up about like about like. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let me see. Is there... Yeah, there is a store close by. Let's go there first, shall we? Yep. It's good to check for the store. That girl was pretty incredible. Too bad she's probably a pro. So. Alright. Let's see, here it is. Alright. It's up the stairs, I believe. No, it's not up the stairs. It's here. I heard you can refill your health. Uh, yep. 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 Uh -huh. Purchase this. I could have been serious that you can purchase health. But I'm not seeing that. Let me see. Okay, you can actually purchase health here. Nope, I, I heard that on review. Fun fact, that was Coop's reviews I heard that on. Cooper's Perspective. Shout out to him. Check out his... Oh, no. Kidding. Check out his... What's the matter? Check out his uh, reviews. Son, you someone over there. Surrender immediately. Eat leg. Eat leg. Oh, boy. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, the combat is so much funner. I, I made a big mistake trying to play the last game on diffi medium difficulty. I should have just... Makes me wish I would have gone back in time and just had fun with the game. Okay. You guys are not using your gun yet. With the cars. Alright. Move on to another mission right here in front of our faces. And it's more thugs. Oh. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello? Okay. There you are. Oh, oh sorry. I can't believe you helped me. Alright. Another mission. Just one mission after another, ain't it? <laughs> I like these missions. These ambush missions. Oh no, you guys are gonna block now, are you? Okay, yeah, just, just juggle them all. Just juggle them all. I think you guys are gonna... I just like the ragdoll physics in this game. Wait. Where's the Daily Bugle mission at? Uh, hello? There you are. There you are. Okay, I'm already gonna make my way to Mr. Jameson. Okay, 
Actually, you know what? Never mind. Just one more mission. One more mission. Sorry. A robbery? Oh, wow, yeah. This is a robbery. You have to Beautiful. actually... Don't worry, I'll stop him. Oh, shoot. Okay. I was afraid it was gonna leave us... Lead us pretty far. Yeah, I, re I don't really get these missions. I don't really get these missions that much. Okay, they're starting to block. I think it's a little combat game. Sorry if there's points where there's not that much to talk about, really. I'm just having fun with the game. You know, now I'm actually playing this and I'm older, I'm actually getting more fun out of this. Oh no. Oh no. You get back here. You get back here. Son of a gun. Hey! My like, goodness sakes. Alright. It's like one mission after that. Cool! It's right right in front of the Daily Bugle. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. You got it. Hey, the health. I like the health. Okay. <laughs> I like the health. Huh? What was that laugh? Okay. He's okay, done a couple missions. And now we're gonna get to the daily bugle assignments. Whoa, you guys saw that, didn't you? Okay, here's another interesting detail. Look at look at Peter's face. Peter didn't start wearing those until he lost his powers. He, he he didn't wear them because well there was a part of the movie where he wasn't wearing glasses when he lost his powers, but then he put them back on again. I don't know, it's very confusing. But it's, that's a pretty weird detail. Interesting detail. Hi Pete. It's just for the box. Actually I'm hoping you might have an assignment for me. Well, if you get a pretty good loot today, maybe you'll get lucky. Go ahead in. He doesn't. Some of them hasn't been bamboozled by that media grabbing glory trooper Spider Man. This Quentin Beck's a special effects guy from Hollywood. Says he's got Spider Man all figured out. Sounds like a media grabbing glory trooper to me. Oh, Harper. He doesn't well, seem like in a good mood to. <laughs> honestly. You don't have any pictures, do you? You're fired. Uh, You're fired. Get my building. <laughs> Wish it was J.K. Simmons. Oh well. He does an okay job. No offense to the guy in the previous game, but in the Xbox exclusive mission, we we actually see a cutscene of J. Jonah Jameson. J. Jonah Jameson's voice. This guy honestly did a much better job. No offense to anybody. <laughs> Because it, because it actually sounds more like the J. Jonah Jameson you actually all know and like. Like some of the actors in these movies, like I just find, I can't imagine anybody replacing Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. I can't imagine anybody replacing, you know, Alfred Molina's Doc Ock. I can't find anybody replacing J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson. Like, they're just, they're just that good. Or Thomas Hayden Church as Sandman. Like, I can't see anybody else replacing those guys. For me, they'll just, they'll be, always be the best. Okay, so, oh no. Okay. This is a cool mission. Oh, wowie. So after the Spider-Man trilogy, I'm gonna go try to jump straight ahead into the Crash Bandicoot games. Now, when I get to talking about those, you know, I'm gonna try my best to stay on topic here. So, I'll talk to that, my plans about that, when I play 
the Insane Trilogy. So there you go. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. So the superhero genre, I kind of agree with other people to these days. It's kind of go gone downhill for me. I just lost interest. The previous good ones were Endgame and Spider-Man No Way Home. However, I've seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 in the theater. That was a masterpiece. So I really like that. I really like that movie. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, <laughs> that one was scary. Okay. Thank goodness you're Spider-Man. A little faster. All right. Now I like this. Let's grab that token. So, I'm assuming... I never really went after those that much, but those are supposed to be skyscraper points. So, I'm assuming this is the Empire State Building, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm... Okay, now, this is what I'd like to do. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna, I guess gonna have time to shoot the web. Okay, let's see. At least I don't have to sh do the mission. Okay, let's try it again, shall we? <laughs> okay, keep going forward, keep going forward, keep going forward, keep going forward. No! Oh my goodness. Whee! Ouch. I think that might have hurt me. Whee! <laughs> Sometimes I just like doing that. Uh, okay. So, funny enough, I think I'm have I think I'm having more fun with this game, you know, today than I was in the past. Okay, so my little thing here is that I'm gonna try to put a time limit on my these videos. So I'm gonna end it off on either thirty minutes to fifty minutes. Plus, this is a long game too. Thanks, Robbie. I will. And here's the little thing. I am not playing Spider-Man 3, the movie game, the PS3 version. Yep, I'm going to be playing the PS2 version, but people can't claim to have be the bootleg. So, before we get into this, so a little talking here. Uh, so, I will be playing Spider-Man 2, the movie game, the Three. I'm playing Spider-Man 2 right now. Spider-Man 3, the movie game, on the, the PS2 version. Plus, that's the version I have more fun with, honestly. So, what? what? Oh, I forgot to do something. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, Jonah. So, I have to... I want to play that... Hi, Pete. How are you doing today? Hi, Betty. I'm okay. Mr. Jameson around? Sure. Go on in. What do you want, Parker? So, we were... Robbie Sammy. I wanted to... What is this nonsense? Why are you bringing me shots of the city and not shots of Spider-Man? This is the sorriest excuse for... Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Robbie wanted these dishes. Yeah, they're fine. Now get out of my office. <laughs> get out of my office. So, I will not be playing the PS3 version of Spider-Man 3. I'll be playing the PS2 version. Because number one, Spider-Man 3, if you're including the PS3 version, it is the longest game out of the whole trilogy. And this game is already long enough. But man, it is such a dang long F game. And it's just, it's, it's, it's the most difficult for me out of the three. Man, the Let's Play's walkthroughs I've seen on it, it just made it look easy. But no, it is a super hard, it's a difficult game for me. And I'm not that used to it. I get pretty bored with it at times. 
I find myself having more fun with the Spider-Man 3 PS2 version. On popular opinion, I'm more into the PS2 version of Spider-Man 3. Yep. But however, I'll honestly get to have more fun with it. And it's kind of... It's not that well recognized. It's unrecognized. It's... I'm not even out yet. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. I'm sorry if you guys couldn't hear that, but... There was city ambience, and I might hear it again. So, a random civilian ci city ambience. New York ambience. So, um... Yeah, I'll be trying to see here if we can... You know, I'm going to be playing the PS2 version. Yes. And maybe... You guys will have a funner time watching that version because glitch, possible glitch to happen, glitches can happen. So there you go. And what else I was gonna say? Oh, yeah, sorry you guys have been waiting forever for like waiting forever about that Godzilla and Kong versus the Horror Monsters. But man, I am not that much in the mood for get make, getting enough. to it. You but base, don't worry, I'm gonna try myself try and force myself to really get to it. Whoa, did you guys see that? He ran right through him. So the weird the weird glitchy civilians. Oh shoot. Okay, here we go. Pretty the bosses in this game are pretty easy. The bosses in this game are pretty easy, but when we get to Doc Ock, oh just you wait. When we get to Doc Ock. Ow. Ouch. Okay. I'm gonna have to slow that down. All right. Well, I'm gonna focus a little. Did you see that? He ran into the wall. Oh boy, he's gonna do this again. <laughs> that was so funny. Funny how he fought him with the thing in his hand. And we never fought him, you know, just normal like that. <laughs> That's funny. See, so you don't get no points for that. Like, what in the world? So. Yep. <laughs> Another spider booty <laughs> image. Wow. Just wow. Alright, I am going to go ahead and save. So, honestly, I'm going to go with the little theme here. I'm going to keep on playing, but I'm going to still split it into parts. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for next time. So, hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play, and if you like the content of my channel, well, don't be shy, be sure to subscribe, and if you like the video, well, of course, go ahead and like it. So, without further ado, Thank you guys so much for watching. And...
Good old Kong Spideyzilla says, peace out.